Well, the Pakistani Taliban is claiming responsibility for a deadly five-hour assault on the international airport in Karachi. Ten heavily armed men killed at least 18 people before being killed themselves. CCTV's Malini Wilkes reports. Pakistan's busiest airport reopened Monday with passengers coming and going from Karachi International, some seemingly unfazed by news of the brazen terrorist siege. What fear? It is not a problem. But it is sad that in a Muslim country such a situation is occurring. Gunmen disguised as airport security guards stormed the airport late Sunday, engaging in a gun battle that lasted till dawn and setting off explosions. Pakistani officials say it was a well-planned attack. The 10 terrorists enter the airport from two different directions in groups of five. Armed with machine guns, rocket launchers and explosive vests, the gunmen seemed prepared for a suicide mission. And by the time it was over, all 10 were dead. Ordinary Pakistanis are alarmed and angry. Did you see the amount of arms and ammunition they carried with them? How did they get that inside? An ordinary citizen cannot even enter the airport with a bunch of keys. The Pakistani Taliban says the attack was to avenge the death of a former commander, killed in a U.S. drone strike last year and warned of more attacks to come. It's a threat that's taken seriously around the country. In order to take such a big action in any place, the Taliban must have support from somewhere inside. Only then can they carry it out. It is astonishing that they stormed into the center of Karachi with all those rocket launchers, rockets and hand grenades. This is sheer incompetence of the government. As soldiers and tanks pull away from the airport, Pakistanis are left with a new sense of unease about their safety and security. Malini Wilkes, CCTV.